This shoe used to be a thousand dollars and now it's not. But you guys know me, I never spend top dollar. I got these for 340 bucks and I'm excited to show you guys my new pickup. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! All right, right here. Now you guys have seen this box before on the channel, but it was a different shoe inside. It was the Oregon Ducks Air Max One. Saw that one in the past with the previous drop. They did the NFTs. If you guys want to learn about that shoe, I've done a review. I'll make sure I link that down below. Now we have these ones right here. Whew. I've been waiting for these and I've been very, very patient. Oh man, I've been so patient. All black on the top right here, matte black, white finish right here with the Nike branding. And then you have your two-tone Oregon Ducks right here. So you got the green on this area. And then on this part of the lid, it's green with the black text. And then wrap it around here, green all on the front, green on the sides, da da da. And it says limited right here and that faint green. And then it's all green here. Now on the size tag, it reads Nike Dunk Low, University of Oregon, P, probably for PE or player edition or whatever they like to call it. And then light silver, white, black, size 12 and a half, just for me. And lifting open the lid of the box, another detail I forgot to show. Let me show you right here. Okay, so you got the QR code right here. I think this directs to the information about the website for what they're doing for the foundation, how the money goes back to the players and everything. I haven't scanned this one, but I'm sure it's probably all that similar stuff. If I'm wrong, correct me down below in the comment section. I'm being lazy right now. <laughs> and then you got puddles right here with the Oregon branding in the center of that. Now, back to the shoe, the part that I wanna show you guys. This looks like standard white paper, but if you look really, really closely, you have the Oregon O all throughout here on the all over print. Peeling that back, you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Now y'all know me. First impressions is kind of hard because I've seen this shoe multiple times but it's definitely a lot more exciting when you got the pair in your collection for yourself and now that you know that they're yours. So if you're new to this channel, I love to start with the bottom of the shoe and work my way up, going through all the styles, cuts, materials, and details. Looking at the bottom of the shoe, pretty plain. All black outsole, Nike Dunk bottom, you can't go wrong with it. Going up to the midsole, pure white with the white stitch, and then to the upper. Oh, the upper. You got a set of two, kind of three different materials right here. You have a smoother white leather, a tumbled leather, and then a suede right here. And you got a gray tone, a faint gray tone, a little bit lighter than the gray tone on the tumbled leather, and then your white leather right here around the swoosh. Now, looking at the toe box and everything right here, you can see it looks really, really clean. It's dope how they added that neon green finish around the cuts of the leather as well. So it kind of makes it pop a little bit more, give it a little bit more character and not let all the grays kind of blend in together. A small detail to the shoe that some people may not pay attention to, but when you look at it real close, you start to see, oh, that's kind of cool how it separates the materials because the colors are so similar. And it almost kind of gives you that neon light kind of make the shoe glow feel type of vibe. Another dope touch that goes along with that is you got that double and single stitch of the neon all throughout the upper as well when it comes to the swoosh, the leather panels right here, even around the eye stays on the front end. And I like how they added that as well to make it all tie in together. Now going to the back end of the shoe around the heel, you got your gray suede, you got your green stitch right here with the lines across, you got your tumbled leather like we showed, and then your tumbled leather patch right here with your white O stitch on both sides of the heel, the left and the right foot. And these come with a pair of standard gray flat laces to match the upper as well but you also have an additional pair of white flat laces that honestly I feel like might look really dope with these just because it gives a little bit more character on the front end of the shoe and then it kind of ties in the swoosh and the midsole let me know what you guys think about that I might have to switch that out this time now looking at the tongue of the shoe you got more of a kind of like a ballistic mesh type of style it's a little bit thicker right here with the black mesh then you got the duck stitched right here in the lime green and then you have that same thing with the lime green patch and then your multicolored Oregon Ducks logo right here on both of the tongues as well now going to the back end of the tongue you got tinker signature in all black right there and then on the back of the left foot same thing and then looking at the insoles you got that multicolor striped insole matching the ducks logo on the tongue and then on the right foot you got the university of oregon o and then on the left foot you got ducks of a feather right here on the inside so this shoe right here to me is dope it's clean it's it's bright and it's loud but it's still simple it's hard to explain. I know you got the wild colors, but at the same time, it's still simple. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got a PE that's just like extra, but it's like, I like how they tied this one together. I was talking about this with one of my homies and we're like, this is a PE that's like, it's, it's dope to have. I know, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a PE, it's a released PE, just like the, you know, the eights, they did the same thing. But I think this is one that's dope to have, not one to rush out and get, you know, don't, don't fall in for the hype, 
but at the same time take your time and go get it type thing so me i was patient a real real patient because when this shoe first came out it was like a thousand dollars and i was like yo too much money not doing it they're gonna drop in price i know it's gonna happen what happened give it some time because this came out like fall time or something like that last year, last season right so you know it's been about a year now so he said hey it's been about a year give it some time prices go down it's like half of that it's like 500 bucks now after fees people are making 400 and something so for me i had an opportunity to get these for 340 bucks this was a great deal i had to jump on it and it made sense for what i wanted to pay and like i tell everybody buy shoes at prices that you want to pay be patient you don't have to go out and spend top dollar to get the shoe it's the same shoe yes they only made a thousand pairs of this shoe but at the end of the day you're gonna find a pair it's okay i waited i waited some shoes i've waited five years seven years. you've seen videos on my channel it took me 12 years to find this shoe because i waited and i waited and i waited and i found the deal and i was like you know what this is the price that makes sense i'm gonna get the shoe and now i can enjoy it and get it at the right price and still be able to if i decide to sell it someday might be able to make a couple bucks now when it comes to the oregon stuff <laughs> You know I ain't getting running out of the Oregon stuff. I like my Oregon collection. I like to get all the different stuff. I got the Revises. I got the other trainers. I got the phone posits, the Jordans, the, you know, I'm from Oregon, man. It, it just makes sense. I got to have them all. So besides that and my excitement for the shoe, I'm interested to see what you guys think about the shoe because I heard a lot of people say they thought the shoe was weak. And honestly, I'm not mad at you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You ain't from Oregon or whatever it is, or you don't like the ducks, or you just think the colorway is trash. There's a plenty of reasons. So I want to see what everybody think. I post polls on my Instagram story. So if you haven't already, follow me on IG so you can participate in those. And then I post all the results here on my channel. So this is what the people said. 55% of the people said it was fire and 45% of the people said it was trash. It makes sense. You could, like I said, not like the ducks. There's so many different reasons why you don't like it. There's so many reasons why you may like it. And I don't know. I was kind of thinking it was going to be like, you know, 65, 35 fire trash, but I can understand why it's 55, 45. So do you think those results were accurate? Let me know down below in the comment section. Is this a shoe that you're going after? Is this a shoe that you already have? What price did you get it for? How much do you want to buy it for? Answer all those questions for me down below in the comment section. I would love to read them. And again, be nice to everybody. If you don't like a shoe, it's okay. But if you say it's trash, like, tell me why it's trash. You know, elaborate a little bit. Don't just be like, the shoe's weak. Like, okay. <laughs> where do we get with the conversation i love to hear why people don't like things too it's always interesting to understand other people's perspectives at the same time because that's one thing that's super dope about the shoe game we don't all have to like the same stuff at the end of the day we're buying what we're like we're building our collections how we want to yeah we might make a couple bucks here and there or we might even build a massive collection to be worth a hundred thousand dollars and we're going to sell it someday and enjoy it along the process and then use that for a down payment and buy a house or whatever if that's something that you want to do again i can help you link down below i'm helping as many people as i can become six figure sneakerheads whether that's making six figures turning their collection into six figures or finding ways to turn that into an investment and buy real estate and other assets as well so then they can use that cash flow and money to buy more shoes so i hope you guys enjoy this appreciate you as always i'm out i would never let you down and send my dna hey, hey, the pop. only choice i like to make what i'm aware today one one i would one. never let you down and send my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today i was made for it it's in the dna